Hey guys, are you ready to add another umbrella to our calendar here for April? Let's go ahead and put the date right there. It is the 27th. If it starts with a two, a two digit number that starts with a two, it's in the 20s and then seven, 27. So today is April 27th, 2021. April 27th, 2021. We're going to follow that 27 straight up the calendar and find out that today is t -t 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 Terrific Tuesday. All right, today is Terrific Tuesday. So we moved Tuesday out of its spot here. So what came before Tuesday? Monday, Marvelous Monday. Marvelous Monday comes before Terrific Tuesday, right? All right, so Monday, Tuesday, next would be Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. Marvelous Monday. Terrific Tuesday, wonderful Wednesday. Let's go ahead and read these sentences. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. And I'm ready to count down some more. So let's go ahead and subtract one of these sticks. One of the ones, right? Subtract means you're taking away from. So we subtracted a stick. Now we have 110. There they are all wrapped up together, a bundle of 10. And we only have two extra ones now. So that is the number 12. 12 means 110 and two extra ones. We have 12 days of kindergarten remaining. For our number bond today, we are going to be working with the numbers 8, 6, and 2. So this is our number bond triad. Triad means 3, right? So there's three numbers. That's why I say triad. It is in a triangle shape. Did you hear that? Try again. Triangles have three sides. So we are working with the numbers 8, 6, and 2 to write two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. Let's go ahead and get started. So when we're doing addition, we take the two parts, which is the 6 and the 2, and we put them together. So we're going to take 6, and we're going to add 2, and we should get what number? Eight, right? We should get eight because if we had a group of eight, now I've used pennies, I've used cookies, it could be anything, a group of eight pieces of bubble gum. So if you have eight pieces of bubble gum, you could make a group of six pieces of bubble gum and then a group of two pieces of bubble gum. You could separate them out into two different groups. So let's go ahead, put our numbers. So we have six. We've got eight today, and the other number is two that we have today. So we'll put those on our number line so that we can check and make sure that our addition is correct. So we have six, and we're going to add two. So have start at six, add two. Start at six, jump one, jump two. And yep, there you did. You landed on the eight just like we thought you would. All right. Now we're going to add the other part first. We're going to add the two and then the six. And you know that when you're doing an addition sentence, it doesn't matter what order you put those two parts together. You're still going to get the same whole at the end, the same eight at the end. So this is the whole thing. These are the two parts. Two plus six equals eight. With subtraction, you start with the whole thing every time, right? We have eight. So if you have eight pieces of gum, and you took away six of them, you would have two left over, right? Two left over. And if you have eight pieces of gum and you take away two, you would have six left over. If you took away that group of two, you'd have the group of six left, okay? So let's double check this last one. Eight minus two equals six. Let's double check that one on the number line. Eight minus two. So we start at eight, we jump back two because our numbers are going to get smaller as we subtract so eight jump back to eight jump one jump two up ah, there it is we landed on the six just like we thought we would eight minus two equals six all right what time is it on there our clock well let's take a look this is our hour hand the shorter hand is the hour hand and it is pointing between the 10 and the 11 so it's not at 11 yet so we're still in that 10 o'clock hour so we're going to write 10 there and the numbers before the two dots the colon the numbers before the two dots represent the hour so the hour is the 10 o'clock hour and the number that comes after the dots represent how many minutes have passed since it was 10 o'clock so 
If it was 10 o'clock, our minute hand would be pointing straight up to the 12th. And each of these numbers re represents five minutes passing. So let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So if someone were to ask you to see a clock, if you were to see a clock and someone says, hey, what time is it? You would say, hey, that says 1030. It says 1030. Or if you were going to write it out, you would spell the number. Why? Why does it do it every time? You would spell the number 10. You would put a dash and then you would write the 30. That's how you would spell 30. So it's 1030. That's how it would look in words. So our clock says 1030. Okay, so I will include some vowel review after calendar today because we all know in order to be a great reader, you have to know your vowels because there are vowels in every single word that we read.